Hey everyone. So, don't mind my hair. It's looking a little funky. It's been about eight weeks since I've got a haircut. I'm also not wearing my usual shirt. We're just doing everything different today. Now, since I've been pretty busy with school, I thought I'd do a little lighter video today and give you a little tour slash review of my home espresso setup. A bunch of people were asking for it in the comments, so I thought I'd review what I use and also show you some of my favorite tools that I've been using for the past couple of years. None of this is sponsored, just wanted to show you some of my favorite things. Okay, so let's get started. Now the espresso machine I'm using at home is the Breville Barista Express. I got it used and was able to refurbish it, so it's looking pretty good now. If you've watched my videos for a while, you've probably seen it looking a little shabbier in the past. Now my number one tip is to be using fresh local coffee. This is from Bespoken Coffee. It's a single origin from Colombia. It's super delicious and I've really been enjoying it. On top of the Barista Express, you have a hopper and a grinder, so you're able to just open it up dump your coffee in there and then just leave it in there. You can take it out if you want, but also if you're going through it every day, you're more than welcome to just dump it in. As you can see, you have this little airtight seal that seals on top and there you go. Beans can just live in there until you're ready to use them. Now we also have this portafilter which slides out pretty easily. I'm just, I'm just weak is the honest truth here. Anyways, make sure it's nice and clean. I apparently did a pretty poor job of that last time, so wipe it out. It should be nice and clean inside. These come with either single shot or double shot baskets. Now the double shot baskets were out of stock when I was getting this, so we have the single shot. Just is what it is and it works pretty well anyways. Now this is the grinder. You have your settings here where you can set the grind amount. You can also set the grind size, which is great. So depending on the coffee, whether you're dialing it in or not, you can change that up to your liking. Pretty nifty. Now this machine also comes with a tamp. I don't personally use it, but if you want it, there it is. It just hides up there, secured with a magnet and it's pretty cool. Okay, now we have our portafilter and I'm going to insert it into the dosing chamber of the grinder. You can set this to have an automatic grind dosage or you can manually do it. Here I'm manually doing it just because that's how I prefer. I like to kind of control it on my own. After this, I'm going to pull it out. Make sure you wipe off any coffee grounds that happen to spill out on the sides. No big deal. Just knock it off. That's a little drip tray down there. It's totally fine to just knock some coffee in. Okay, I'm gonna pat it out, and then this is one of my favorite little tools. It's a two-part distributor end tamp, so one side will distribute you coffee super easily in the portafilter, and the other side will tamp it. I also have this really nice mat so I don't scuff my countertop. Now, first off, we're gonna be using the distributor side. I place it in, give it about two swirls, and then pull it out. You'll see it has nicely flattened the coffee and distributed it equally. Wow, that's hard to say. Then I put the tamp side down and just press down firmly. This will cause the coffee to be compacted in a very nice, even way, so you don't have uneven extraction when you pull it ultimately as espresso. Super easy, one tool does it all. It's pretty awesome. Now the next thing I want to show you is the shot glasses that I'm going to be using. They're from Fellow Products, which is an amazing company. They're the Joey Double Walled Ceramic Mugs in 2.3 ounces, and I love them. They're great, particularly for these single shots. So I'm going to insert the portafilter into the group head, and then again, I'm doing a single shot, so we've got a little single shot button. Press that down, and I have it set to manually put out the dose of water that I want, so nothing left to do. Just wait for it to finish. The espresso is going to start pulling. Make sure it gets all into your mug because it's kind of a small opening. And there you go. You can see the espresso gauge here for the pressure, which is kind of nifty. Looks a little fancy. Awesome. And then the next thing I'm going to show you is my knock box that I have. Again, it's from Breville. And this is a really nice way to just get rid of your pucks. You'll often see these in coffee shops, but they make little tiny ones for home use too. There you go. Your coffee can just sit there and when it's full, throw it away. Clean out your port filter and you've got a shot of espresso. The next thing I'm going to be showing you is how to steam milk on this machine. So we're going to be using the Pacific Barista Series oat milk because that's all I had in the house. Next off, I'm going to be showing you the pitchers that I like using. These are from Slow Pour Supply. Again, I'll link them in the description, but they are a fantastic company. I've been buying pitchers from them for as long as I can remember. This one is a sharp spout. It's a collaboration pitcher, so it has a little info on the bottom, which is cool. And then this one is slightly larger. It's 22 ounces and it is a round spout. When I show you the top of it, you'll be able to see the different shape in the spout. It is all dependent on how you like to pour, what your style is, what you're most comfortable with. But again, if you're looking to buy a pitcher, if you're a barista or a home barista looking to buy one, I 100% recommend you check out Slow Pour Supply. They've been nothing but amazing. Okay, so I'm just going to dump my oat milk into the second line inside the pitcher because that's the amount I need for about a 12 ounce drink. We're going to go through the process again of pulling an espresso shot. So use your little tool if you have it. If you don't, no worries, use whatever tools you have. So for this drink, the mug we're going to be using is from Created Co. I showed this in one of my last videos, but they do great mugs. I really like them. I've been following them for a super long time. This one's beautiful. It's from an artist collaboration they did. And yeah, all good stuff. I think it's about... 
10 to 12 ounces so that's a really nice latte size get your espresso going into it see it's all done and then next is we're going to be using the steam one now this has to kind of heat up because this machine isn't a dual boiler so everything inside it is kind of multi-use so you have to just open up your steam valve and then just let it eject any water that has been put in it before or left over from the last time you used it it takes about 10 seconds to warm up but you can see that it started to turn into steam and then you can put your pitcher in and get your milk steaming it sometimes takes a little bit of time to warm up, I will say, so you just have to be patient even with a small amount of milk. But ultimately, it does create a really nice milk texture, and I totally recommend it for home baristas. It just takes a little bit of practice to get used to it, like with anything. But overall, clean up your wand, and there you go. That's milk in about a minute or so. Now, I prefer pouring with two pitchers, as I mentioned before, so dump it into your second one. I think it really helps with texture. And then we're going to pour a little latte, little oat milk latte. Yum. All right, pouring it in, and as you can tell, I'll be able to get some latte out, which means that's pretty decent milk texture, just achieved on a home machine, which is amazing. It's awesome to have like cafe grade drinks at home. It's a whole new ballpark, especially when we're locked down in quarantine or staying home or however you're preferring to stay safe. And there we go. That's a little oat milk latte made in about three or four minutes from the comfort of my own kitchen pretty nifty. Now these things all are pretty costly and have taken quite a while to accumulate but as someone who really cares about coffee and that's an important thing to me it was totally worth it. Now I'll link everything in the description as I mentioned before a lot of these companies are small companies and they're really awesome to support but at the end of everything just make sure you clean up your machine make sure you're happy with how you've prepared your coffee because there isn't a wrong way to do it just do it the way you like it. So I hope this was fun for some people or it was enjoyable or I hope it answered all the questions that everyone had about what I use. So give me a follow, a subscribe, a, a whatever if you want to. I make videos every single day on TikTok at Morgan Drinks Coffee. I'm on Instagram at Morgan Drinks Coffee and I make videos on here every single Friday. So till next time, have a great day. I'll see you later. <laughs>